Welcome to Fridays on 42nd Street. I'm Katie Merriman, the Artistic Director at the Playhouse. And I am here with our special guest, Lorenzo Sandoval. He is going to talk to us about a project he's been working on. Uh, we're going to be doing a reading of his play next weekend. And before I give you all the logistics, let's talk about the exciting parts. So, Lorenzo, <laughs> who are you? What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Great to be with you today. Um, Yes, I'm Lorenzo Sandoval. I have been part of this community since the 70s. I'm originally from the Quad City area, born and raised on the banks of the Mississippi. And therein lies the tale, let me tell you. But fast forwarding a number of years, I'm here in uh, the Des Moines area, and I've been part of the theater scene uh, really because I have a little company called the Iowa Shakespeare Experience in which we do adaptations of Shakespeare and other classic authors. I've actually done Bram Stoker, uh, Stoker with uh, Dracula and also some Charles Dickens uh, with Christmas hey. Carol. Oh, yes. And, but um, primarily Shakespeare, and I've had a lot of fun with that and performing it free on various non traditional theater venues. I think I've even seen uh, a brought Jack outside because at one point Lorenzo was like walking around Sherman Hill delivering Shakespeare monologues. And I was like, let's go watch! So <laughs> then we just go down the block, we keep going. Yeah. We do all kinds of crazy stuff. Thank you very, very much. So, what project are you working on right now? Well, well, what I am working on, uh, courtesy of some uh, of a grant award from the Iowa Arts Council, Thank you. I am trying to. Um, develop, workshop, if you will, uh, st still work a little bit on some plays that I had written a while back. Uh, but principally, one of interest to the Playhouse would be Juanito and his Tales. And um, so the object of the, the grant is to permit me to still work on it, to workshop it, uh, have it play to um, some audiences. Um, and basically, it's a tale about a rascally young boy in a little Mexican village who likes to pull pranks on people until one day he's caught and he is sent to live with the local sorcerer who promptly turns him into a toad. And how is our hero going to get out of this? And so you'll have to see it. But, um, but let me just say this. Um, part of that, or the framing device for this play, is that Juanito has to tell a couple of tales to entertain the sorcerer and to keep him from doing the work of El Diablo for two days in a row. Ooh. So therein lies several tales, if you will, um, and all of them are inspired by uh, Latino stories, uh, featuring, of course, uh, it, since they're tales, folk tales, have animals, of course, anthropomorphic type of things going on in the play. <laughs> And, um, and then the characters themselves are a little over the top. The sorcerer, Don Chema Cacahuate, is in there too. He's mean, but oh, all right. There's a little soft part to him as well, of course. And it all resol resolves uh, very nicely at the end. So you had this play read at a few different places around the state. I'm not sure, have you gone out of state with it yet? Uh, yes, technically I have. Uh, uh, actually in Nebraska right across the river from Sioux City, took it into some elementary schools there as part of a different, uh, that was about five years ago, mm -hmm. um, not part of this grant. And um, so it's interesting because, because up in Northwest Iowa, there are huge amounts of Latino, Latina children uh, in, the, in the public schools there. And they, as far as I can tell, they had a really great, great time with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are going to do a, a reading, mm -hmm. not staged. We're just going to hang out and read the stories in character next Saturday afternoon. That's June 11th at 1 o'clock. We'll be in the Children's Theater, and it will be free and open to the public. So if next Saturday afternoon you and your kiddo are looking for something to do, um, in total the, the stories take about an hour to get mm -hmm. through. If you need to take a break, if you need a break. Um, but it's going to be low-key and just a fun way to hear a new kind of story and give Lorenzo a chance to get a different audience's response, maybe get a little feedback from the readers. Um, we're actually still looking for a couple of readers, uh, preferably someone who has a Hispanic 
Hispanic and Latinx background or is familiar with the Spanish language a little bit. Uh, so if that's you and you feel like reading a little, it's again, uh, you don't have to come to a bunch of rehearsals. We're just getting together and having a good time reading this great play. Uh, otherwise, please bring everybody you know to come listen to the story. And um, we, we hope that it has a great future. And this is just a jumping off point. <laughs> Did you bring anything fun? To well, actually, I was going to say, we um, because we do readings, we at least want to spice it up a little bit. So I always do. And so in this case, this is El Sol, or the sun. And so one of the characters who helps Juanito in his efforts to not be a toad anymore. And I have other characters, if you can imagine, La Luna, and uh, El Oso, El Leon, all kinds of different things, little masks like this. So things, again, to just give it a little sizzle. Yeah. Great. OK, well, we're really looking forward to this. Uh, we're glad you approached us with this piece. So come listen next Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock on June 11th if you'd like to hear Juanito and his tales. Uh, before we let you go, you may notice we're sitting someplace pretty special. Uh, actually, we're inside the Women's Institute of uh, Wilson, North Yorkshire, um, on the set of Calendar Girls, which opens tonight! So this is what the show looks like when it's kind of neutral and not set up, but it gives you kind of a great sneak peek into some of what you will see plot-wise. There are a few things here that may be used in the photographing of the calendar. Uh, there are some slides here about broccoli. There is a lot of camera equipment. Those gorgeous black dresses that they all wear for their television interview are hanging up over there, ready to be revealed. Mary Bricker is going to play the, this piano behind us live for you tonight. No pressure, Mary. Um, yeah, Kathy Peel has come back to the Playhouse to direct this play, and we opened it softly for a preview audience last night from AARP. They had a great time, they had a great response, and honestly, they I'm just so excited for people to come see Calendar Girls. It will make you laugh and cry and feel good about all of your friends, and um, I, I can't encourage you enough to come see it. It's a really beautiful play, and I think especially this group of people in the cast have, I mean, not only are they friends and each other's people in the show. I think they've become that off stage too. And that really shines through in the show. So please come to Calendar Girls. We open tonight. We run for three weeks, Wednesday through Sundays, and you can still get tickets at dmplayhouse.com. Come visit us next week on Saturday afternoon at one o'clock. And one last thing, tomorrow afternoon, we have our first Penguin Project meeting. If you are someone who might want to be a mentor and work with some of the special needs students in that program, if you are a parent or a participant potentially in that program and have any kind of interest, tomorrow is the time to come join us uh, at the theater at one o'clock in the afternoon again, and we will talk about what the program is, what the schedule will be, any kind of expectations, we'll answer questions. We're even gonna get the students together and. Uh, uh, doing a little bit of warm up and kind of, uh, per not to pretend it's real, but uh, give them a little like simulated rehearsal experience while the parents are getting a little information. So anyone with interest in the Penguin Project, please join us tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock at the Playhouse. That's a lot of events and things going on. So just rewind it and you can get the information again if you need it. Or visit us at dmplayhouse.com. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much. We'll see you at Calendar Rolls opening and also next Friday.